A 750-year-old slice of nature driven across Canada as an emblem of blockades against old-growth logging on Vancouver Island. It represents obviously the loss of biodiversity that we're facing in Canada as well as loss of indigenous culture. The goal of the negotiations at the summit is to agree on a global plan to stop the unprecedented speed at which species are disappearing and create a more sustainable relationship between humans and nature. This is what negotiators are poring over. It's called the Post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework. And inside, there are more than 20 goals that need to be ironed out. Let's have a look inside at just one example, like Target 3. This is the latest wording of Target 3 that's been shared with media. And this is what it looks like if we remove everything that's bracketed and undecided. This observer was in the room last night when talks hit an impasse. Developing nations walked out over financing. They were very exasperated in their faces. You can actually see them like this is enough kind of face. And then they started just uh, tweeting each other. And then they, they spoke up and they say that they cannot continue this conversation. Funding isn't the only hurdle. There's a long list of sticking points, including how much of the world's land and oceans will be protected and how to hold countries accountable for their pledges. One million species, that is one out of eight, is at risk of being, becoming extinct in the next decades or so. So the situation is serious. With government ministers joining talks tomorrow, the added political pressure is expected to help push through an agreement. Activists say waiting any longer to restore the balance with nature will be too late. Action is needed immediately. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.